So yeah, I was pretty much forced to step out on faith to the next level. And uh, so far it's working, but we'll see. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it'll keep working. It's, uh, it's always a process, right? I was thinking, you know, if you if you lived on the coast, you could probably buy you a boat, or you live near a lake, buy you a boat and charter it out and do trips, get people to pay you to take the boat out, you know. That's pretty much what rides here is. You're riding around in a boat, in a ship. And the ship is, uh, always needing some repair, or maintenance, or whatever. And you just gotta plan for that. And don't let it discourage you. It's true with any kind of business. There's always an expense. There's always expenses. I guess if you're an investor, you're just getting the percentage of the profit instead of you're investing in a company and you're just getting that percentage of that profit. You know, life's a trip. Everything's going to require sacrifice. Everything. And, uh, it's not always going to be fun. Fun and games, you know. You know it's bad when you see the tag is extra small that the government's trying to save money on how much paper they print out on a tag. Let me put this on pause for a second. I'm trying to invent something with some pallets for like an internal, uh, some kind of internal craft for a remodel that but the pallet can't take up so much space, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I can build a wall. I might be able to build a wall. I don't know yet. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. Anything you do is going to be, uh, there's going to be setbacks, you know, in life. Everything, anything. It's not heaven on earth. If it, you've got to have the resistance to make you stronger anyway. The resistance makes you stronger. If you don't get stronger, what happens? You go down. I think I want to go unload these pallets right now. After working 50 hours already. No, I don't. But it is what it is, right? Free pallets. They kind of stink. Let me get them out of the car before they make the car smell bad. Anyway, so 
I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's a job. I don't care if it's learning a new trade. I don't care if it's uh, learning how to think different. If you're especially renewing your mind and becoming a new creature, that's a that's a rough that's a rough road to be honest with you. That's harder than anything because you've got to humble yourself. I had a I had a disagreement with a renter, but I had to humble myself. And I called a mediator just because I didn't want to. Uh, I paid a mediator to help out on that situation. Seems to be fine now. Because I hated to... Uh, have a disagreement and end up a bad vibe between people and I, I would like things to work out smooth you know so uh, I was willing to spend a little bit of money to pay a mediator and it seemed to work you know I didn't really need one, but I was just tr so stressed out at the moment doing some other stuff. I just had to call and get somebody I know to help out who I know, who I knew was trained to deal with that kind of thing. And so that was a that was a, a learning experience, you know, to to humble myself, say, okay, I think this person's wrong. I think they're out of control. They're not thinking right or whatever. I said, let me just get them, instead of, you know, when two people are face-to-face -face disagreeing, if there's somebody in the middle that can kind of solve it, it makes things, because sometimes somebody's making a comment or a, a perspective that doesn't line up with reality, both could be doing it, and, you know, to grow, if you, if you take yourself out of the, uh, the heat of the battle and let somebody be the mediator saves a lot of trouble it saves court case it saves eviction it saves uh, somebody needing a place to stay it saves uh, starting all over again it saves a lot of trouble it cost a little bit of money but it was worth it you know And that's why it ought to be with a marriage. There ought to be a mediator, but it needs to be somebody who's neutral. It's hard to find people who are neutral that, that don't have some kind of prejudice, whether it's uh, the male-female thing, the race thing, the age thing, the the culture thing. The every even the even the mediator has something from their past that uh, forces them to. be one-sided in the situation somebody who's poor somebody who's rich somebody who's it could be disabled stuff it could be just background educated non-educated I mean there's a lot of variables there that a mediator has to deal with stuff you know I'm just talking I'm just I'm just killing time while I'm unloading these pallets. <laughs> this is boring. This feels like a waste of time, but I gotta get it done. Back to what I was saying yesterday, Everything is cut, turn, union, and flow. That tells you that the human experience is kind of dumb down here. If you go out here with a knife, you cut a tree, and you build your shelter, and it's, it's just cut and put the pieces together, you know? It's all about cut, turn, union, and flow. When you see it, it's kind of depressing at first, but you realize that God made it so simple that anybody could be saved the word of god will cut you 
the Word of God will turn you. The Word of God will bring you into union. The Word of God will give you the flow. Cut, turn, union, flow. The word cut goes back to cross. Cross cut, right? Crux. The crux of the matter is the cross. The word crux means cross. The root word. When I'm speaking, I'm speaking root words. As you unfold a root word, you get all these other words. So the four root words are cut. You unfold cut, you get a bunch of words that go back to cut. You unfold turn or verse, you get a lot of you get a bunch of words that go back to verse or turn. Cut is the cross. Turn is verse. Union is Amos 3 3. Two shall become one flesh. Flow is the blood flow. The blood flow. They adjusted this transmission for base. They said bait, they'd have to let me train it, see how I drive, you know. I drive kind of crazy unless I'm doing ride share, so it's not designed for me. I, I'm like a speed demon from the from the stop sign to 35. It's like I gotta get there as fast as I can. Unless I'm doing ride share, it's a different story. But if you go and you break everything into parts, <coughs> you'll start to see the whole truth is in the parts. And then you look at the whole and you see the parts in the whole. And so that's the definition of a hologram. When you tear a piece off of a hologram, you see the whole picture in a piece. You put the piece back on the hologram you see a bunch of pieces, let's say you took two or three pieces off, then put it back together, you see the whole picture with the pieces together. The definition of a hologram is the piece is in the whole and the whole is in the piece. W-H-O-L-E, the whole pie. The pieces of the pie taste like the whole pie, and the whole pie tastes like the pieces of the pie. So out here's a holog holographic projection from your thoughts and the reason that there's clay is because your body's clay. The reason there's water is because your body's water. The reason there's uh, night and day because you got the flesh versus the spirit in you. If you're saved, you have the spirit. But those who are not saved, they don't have the, the day. They only have the night. There's no night and day with them. It's only night. And that's why they're always running around trying to get their identity out of something down here. I heard somebody make a comment this week that I can't really talk about right now, but I'm in shock. One day I can talk about it, but not right now. These, these mechanics are... I don't even know if I don't even know if they I don't even know if they really care. Most mechanics just don't care. Yeah. It's a hologram, people. A white truck just went by. And a silver car. And there's a red car over there. What's the next color car you think will show up? Black. Let's see if a black one shows up. Black, white, and red. Is that blue or black? That's a black one. Told you. The next car was black. Why did I, how did I know that? Because you had white, you had red, black, white, and red. That's the base. That's the checkerboard that we're on. That is the checkerboard. 